But I have to question. We have to pursue this. They will not do it. They will not do it. There is a very real question. Is there some kind of Ukrainian involvement? Look, this guy. He is he's 100 percent getting money. He is a, an ideal. He is 100 percent getting money through other sources. I bet. I wonder how much of this piece of shit operation is funded with Russian money. I'm so curious now. Could be, how can the tenant thing not even give you pause, like not even make you think for one second? Like, am I like, am I am I actually just doing the work of an enemy country right now? Like the fact that he said that he didn't even know makes it even worse, you know, to some extent, like at the very least, if you know, then at least you're doing propaganda willingly. But like if you, you're not even aware of it, that you just happen to be doing propaganda that the foreign government thinks it's worth paying five million dollars a year for it, like naturally, you, you wouldn't think that you wouldn't think for two seconds that that might give you pause for reconsideration. But can you talk about the ABC whistleblower? Yeah, that looked fake as f if you're talking about the the affidavit from the anonymous. Don't biting me he's biting me he's biting me but i'm stronger than him i'm stronger than him i'm stronger i can take it i can take it i can take it give me this pack now i'm coming back in yeah that's right okay oh ow logical wing nut. He's the suspect in this case. OK, I want to make sure that's clear. Everybody's reporting his mm. picture, his name, and I want to make sure it's clear. These are allegations and he's a suspect. Maybe it was somebody else who knows. Should this be the man? Then I think it is completely reasonable to investigate Ukrainian direction. Do you consider the recent event in Lebanon a terrorist attack, at least in nature? The conventional definition of a terror attack is usually when you're trying to attack a civilian population enough to get the opinion to change for some political reason. It's pretty broad, like what a terrorist attack can be. But like, so is Israel's attack against Hezbollah a terrorist attack? Well, I mean, you could say that they're not, um, they weren't against civilians, they were against Hezbollah. So would that make it a terrorist attack? Then you could say, well, no. But then you could also say, well, hold on. It, are all attacks against like soldiers never terrorist attacks then? What if you, uh, what if you blow up a barracks? Uh, you toss a grenade inside of a barracks and they're not like, even at war. It's just like a training camp, right? Would that be a terrorist attack if it's against soldiers? I'm not sure. I don't actually know. And then you can also say, well, are Hezbollah and Israel ever at like peacetime with each other? Who knows? <laughs> I don't know. Um, all you should know, don't signal the peace go alarm. Um, terrorism or terrorist are, um, these are very like political, uh, like opinion or perspective terms. They don't really have like a rigid definition at all. So it's hard. It's hard. like whether or not something is a terrorist attack or not, is kind of like up for interpretation. And it's at the end of the day, it's not very important either. So Ukrainian interest direction or involvement. Anybody who says otherwise is lying for political purposes. Wait, what? You think it is completely reasonable to investigate Ukrainian direction, Ukrainian interest direction or involvement. Anybody who says otherwise is lying for political purposes. This man's motivations are clear. Now, again, maybe completely independent. He may be thinking he's got to go do it. He's going to go do all these things entirely on his own. However, I think it is fair to say there are questions about where he gets the resources for these weapons. Wait, what all did he have? I thought he just had a single, uh, was it an AK-47? Where he gets the resources for body armor. How he knew. How much does a Kevlar vest cost? I'm totally fo pulling this out of my ass, but my guess would be less than $150, no? How much for Kevlar body armor? Maybe it's like way more expensive. Worse, it was an SKS. I bet you could get some cheap. I bet you could get a cheap vest for 150 bucks. I'm sure, there are more expensive ones. I see that here, but well, entry level uh, vest offering basic protection can start at 300 dollars. Okay. Knew where Donald Trump was going to be. It's been reported that this. <laughs> How did he know where he was going to be? Wait, wasn't he on one of his golf courses? <laughs> However, I think it is fair to say there are questions about where he gets the resources for these weapons. 
where he gets the resources for body armor, how he knew where Donald Trump was going to be. It's been reported that this golf game was a last minute decision. Doesn't matter either way. It doesn't matter because not like I don't know that Donald Trump publishes his golf schedule well in advance. But more people might know. The question then becomes, if Donald Trump decided to play golf at the last minute and choosing this location in West Palm Beach, someone in the immediate tipped off this guy. Who and why? It's inherently bad if a foreign country is funding someone. What if Trump wins, shuts down U.S. media, and CNN gets funding from a country that's not our ally? By your definition, CNN would be bad? It's the question is, hold on, I'm trying to see how, how charitable I want to be in the reading of your question right now. <laughs> it's inherently bad if there's no disclosure, okay? SKS is our, um, is an SKS a bolt action or is it a semi-automatic? It's another Daisy rifle. I don't remember if it was a bolt action or not. It's a scary stuff, my friends. It's very scary stuff. Now, Andy No has a lot more information breaking down who this guy is. Another Russian asset, Andy No. Do you have any advice speaking to family members who have gone deep into conspiracy theories, dabbling with extremism? No, my dude. My parents are Trumpers. What do you want me to say, my dude? I can't even convince my own mom and dad. And I do this shit for work. <laughs> was that a huge amount of people have been unbanned, but the second amount of it is that there are an enormous amount of bots on the platform, which are kind of users, which kind of logged in users. Elon has not been transparent whatsoever about the number of bots on the platform. Um, we have just finished an audit with a security firm. I kind of have to be careful about what I say here. Um, and that audit was trying to determine fraudulent clicks across multiple social media platforms, i.e. like how many of the actual clicks on ads are real and how many are not. We were doing this audit because we want to get better value for our brands and we don't want them to pay for fake stuff. Um, so it was not us that clicked this data, it was a third-party security firm. However, we saw that, and this is pretty reliable, that there was over 60% of Twitter having bot clicks, um, allegedly. So that to us basically guaranteed that, so that's to say that like, if six out of 10 people- Why would bots click on ads, really? People that are posting or commenting or doing anything are at least in some way associated with, or they are a bot account. So that would easily explain this increase in users. And that alone is enough for me to basically never advertise <sighs> on the platform until that's under control. Uh, Elon's done nothing to acknowledge uh, bots, he's shown no data that I know of on, um, on, on the reduction of bots on the platform. He can't. Yeah, he can never acknowledge that, right? And look, so yeah, do I agree with what Laura Loomer said about Kamala Harris? No, I don't. I also don't think that this is actually an issue of national import. Is Laura Loomer running for president? No. Kamala Harris is running for president. And whether you're eating curry at your, at your dinner table or fried chicken, things have gotten more expensive thanks to her policies. Let's talk about the person running for president of the United States, not a social media personality who supports Donald Trump. Senator and look, so yeah, do I agree with what Laura Loomer said about Kamala Harris? <laughs> Are they eating curry or, you know, watermelon and fried chicken? Or, uh, I mean, KFC. Uh, I mean, collard greens. I mean, uh, <laughs> every day is a struggle not to say it. I'm unsure if I understand this. Would an ad agency like his judge the value of the campaign by conversion and not by clicks? Um, typically, if you command, hello, baby. Um, if you have a large audience or a large following, you usually you want to sell based on impressions. And I appreciate that, Destiny. All right, bye. Remember to hit that like and subscribe, and don't forget the notification bell so that my videos show up right in your feed.